A pair of Sydney PhD students helped sharpen the view of humanity's most powerful space observatory without leaving Earth. As an indelible reminder of this thrilling result, the students, one of whom is now a postdoctoral researcher at Leiden in the Netherlands, had tattoos of the instrument their work has repaired inked on their arms. This remarkable technical breakthrough saw the development of a software fix that corrected blurring in images made by NASA's multi-billion dollar James Webb Space Telescope, restoring crisp performance to one of its vital scientific instruments, all without the need for a space mission or astronaut repair like Hubble. The achievement builds on the only piece of Australian-designed hardware on the JWST, the Aperture Masking Interferometer, created by Professor Peter Tuthill from the University of Sydney's School of Physics and Sydney Institute for Astronomy. The AMI lets astronomers take ultra-high resolution images of stars and exoplanets by combining light from multiple patches on the telescope's main mirror, a technique known as interferometry. However, after JWST began operations, scientists discovered that AMI's performance was being degraded by subtle electronic distortions in its infrared camera detector. These were injecting fuzziness into recovered images, a problem reminiscent of the telescope's predecessor, Hubble Space Telescope, as I said, uh, that early blurry vision after launch that famously required a space shuttle mission and astronaut spacewalks to correct. Rather than designing a new lens or mounting such a costly rescue mission, the PhD students from Professor Tuthill's group, also working with Associate Professor Ben Pope at Macquarie University, created a data-driven software-only calibration system that fixed the focus from the ground. Focus. The daily science and space stories continue with an Aussie flair, plus a deep dive into the science or space headline of the week and the occasional science fiction podcast. Like, follow and subscribe for more. Membership available to help me do more. That's at the trek.zone slash support. This is Trek Zones Talking Science.